I've always wanted a Lego car with an engine in it to be able to drive. And today, after $180, some searching, some phone calls, I finally found my own. Thank you, Dad. Unfortunately, it's a Technic set. The good news is I have control. Uh, I just finished the first bag. I'd like to know if any of you guys actually enjoy building Technic sets, because it took me like an hour to build one bag and it hasn't been very enjoyable. But I got the wheels to work and I was gonna show you, but I realized that my controls are on my phone and that I can't record and show you at the same time. Halfway through this thing and it's taken me about two hours. <laughs> Well, now we got a nice place to test the 911 out. We're gonna drive it, we're gonna test it, how great its range is, and then finally we'll drive it on a treadmill, as well as some other things. Now let's see how good the range is on it. I think I've lost them. Reconnect and everything. When someone doesn't like something, you usually burn out on it. I don't know, I've never done a burnout before. But we're gonna burn out on the stickers because I hate to put the stickers on my LEGO Speed Champions. So now we're gonna race a LEGO Speed Champions versus the 911. Well, we've come here to treadmill, and now we're gonna test it out on it. It'd probably be more entertaining for you just to watch the car versus the treadmill it caps out at about 2.5 miles an hour, otherwise the car gets launched off the treadmill. So I'll let you watch our destructive chaos entail. Managed to take some pieces off with that one. Thanks for asking. Yes, the Porsche 911 is okay. The set's pretty durable and only a couple pieces fell off. If you want to see me surprise my parents with a model of their own car, check out this video right here.